So this is a classic Turkish snack that's essentially cooked chickpeas that are tossed in a little bit of oil and some spices and then roasted in the oven until they're crispy. It's so delicious. That just goes way back, like 1,500 in Iran. I mean, this is a classic Persian snack for a long time. Wouldn't it be interesting to try to take that technique and do something a little bit different with it and maybe do like a Southwestern thing with it? I think that would be really good, a pretty healthy snack. So I played around a little bit. I tried black beans and they were okay but I hit gold with pinto beans. So that's what we're doing today. We're taking some pinto beans, we're gonna toss in some spices and oil, roast it in the oven till it's crispy on the outside, a little bit spicy, and on the inside it's got that creamy beaniness. It's a fabulous snack, but you can use it in recipes too. So let's go cook. Combine two teaspoons of chipotle chili powder and one quarter teaspoon cumin in a small bowl. Mix to combine well. Drain, rinse, and pat dry a 15 ounce can of pinto beans. Add the spiced oil mixture to the pinto beans and stir it to combine thoroughly. Take a lined baking sheet, lightly coat with oil, and add the beans. Make sure the beans are in a single layer and spaced out so they'll get nice and crispy. Add the beans to a preheated 400 degree oven. Cook for 15 to 30 minutes until they're crispy. Remove from the oven and let cool for 10 minutes. Pour into a bowl and enjoy. Doesn't look like much, but wow, does it taste great. Having that crunchy texture and then the inside has that sort of smooth beaniness is so fantastic. I went really simple in the spices here, but you could absolutely do some really interesting things. If you wanted to be a little more traditional or maybe have a little bit more flavor, I would maybe use the same amount of chili pepper, except not all chipotle. Try doing a mixture of like ancho and a little bit of chipotle and even a little bit less of wajeo pepper. That is fantastic. You could even get a little Indian vibe, put some curry on there, or maybe go with some like Mediterranean spices like Moroccan or something, that would be absolutely fantastic. This is really great and you can use it for much more than a snack. One of my favorite ways to do this is you get a tortilla and, uh, you know what, come on, let me just show you. I'm gonna start with the flour tortilla, put a little bit of hot sauce on this. You want a Mexican style hot sauce. It's a pretty decent amount. Next, some slices of cheese, just thinly sliced cheddar cheese. A little bit of shredded chicken left over from last night. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for about a minute, minute and a half. Here's what's gonna happen. The hot sauce boils, the cheese melts, and they sort of move together to create this kind of cheesy chili sauce. It's really delicious, super simple. Put this in the microwave. Now let's add the beans. We've got this, we've got this really simple, super straightforward taco. Mm. Wow. 
That is so fantastic. Here's a little bit of why this works in this particular application. Now, this is as simple of a taco as you can get. It's just meat and beans and cheese and some hot sauce. What else could you put in here? You could totally put in here uh, salsa verde would be great. Sliced avocados would be great. Of course, sliced jalapenos or pickled jalapenos, maybe some onions, uh, some really finely shaved cabbage or lettuce. But what really works about this and makes it delightful is you get that distinctly pinto bean flavor, but you also get this really, really delightful kind of crunchiness. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is fantastic. So good. You should really, really try this. Hey, listen, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you feel like it, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks again. Take care of yourself. Stay safe.